first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT Channel 22 News at 5:30. A Southwest Michigan political activist sentenced to a minimum of two and a half years in prison. It's the minimum sentence he could have gotten. 66-year-old Edward Pinckney of Benton Township was convicted of election fraud. He was taken away in handcuffs today. WSBT 22's Denise Bone was in court for the sentencing. Denise Pinckney spoke to the judge. What did he say? Jen and Sydney Edward Pinckney said he did nothing wrong and that he was disappointed in the jury and the system that found him guilty of changing the dates on several recall petitions. Now the judge responded by reminding Pinckney that he was a habitual offender and then he sentenced him to prison. A large group of mostly out-of-town people chanted and held up signs outside the Berrien County Courthouse Monday, protesting the sentencing of Edward Pinckney. I have committed no crime. Pinckney argued the jury who convicted him in October of five felony counts of forging dates on several recall petitions was wrong. I'm very, very, very disappointed. I could not believe for one second that that jury would find me guilty. Pinckney's attorney requested leniency in sentencing, pushing for probation. The prosecution pressed for a harsher sentence, citing Pinckney's lengthy criminal past. A sentence that will send a message not only to Mr. Pinckney for his fraudulent activities, but to the community to reinstill faith in the election process in the city of Benton Harbor. In 1988, a young Pinckney was convicted of assault with a dangerous weapon in California. In 90, it was theft in St. Louis, Missouri. 99, Pinckney spent 18 months in prison for embezzlement related to a Berrien County case. In 2007, a Berrien County jury convicted him of four counts of election fraud. And then there are the most recent counts of election forgery. Twelve felonies in all, nine related to interfering with the election process. That's troubling. Following those words, guards wow. handcuffed Pinckney and led him out of court to start serving his two and a half to ten year prison sentence. Pinckney supporter, Benton Harbor City Commissioner Marcus Muhammad, says the criminal justice system is flawed. The ruling by the jury uh, reflects that this was a kangaroo court. Now, Pinckney's attorney says they plan to appeal the conviction and the sentence. Jen and Cindy, though, Pinckney is already in prison. He left early this morning after his sentencing. About 11.30, we're told that he was taken to Jackson Prison, where he is in, uh, going through the intake process, and then that will determine what prison he stays at for the remainder of his sentence. So on top of his conviction, he also has to pay $500 in court fees and fines. Yep, yep. And then he may also have to pay restitution to Benton Harbor's Mayor Hightower as well. That's exactly right, because today the judge said that Benton Harbor Mayor James Hightower was the victim in this case because he was the target of the recall attempt. So what's going to happen is the judge is going to decide uh, that there will be a hearing later on to decide if he will get any restitution from Pinckney. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in an impact statement that Hightower wrote to the judge, he said that he was impacted emotionally and physically by this Through case. And by happened. the, yeah, he actually said he had neck pain, had to go to a doctor. The doctor said it's related to stress, related to what you're going through, and he had to be put on uh, prescription medicine. And so he'll hmm. pay. Well, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. There's going to be a hearing to decide that. We don't have a, a date yet on that hearing, but we'll make sure to get it when, when yeah. they decide. Denise, Denise thank you. Mm -hmm.